Hey guys, I'm Tristan, and here is everything that's wrong with my MG ZS. Something that's been really bugging me for the last five years, and something I should have sorted out a really long time ago, is the rear bumper here. These rear bumpers were really prone to the plastic clips breaking on them when they were bumped into or just from sagging from the weight of them. And the previous owner did a really bad job at repairing them. So it's something that I really need to take care of. Now here's the rear bumper and as you can see, when I pull on it here, look, it's just completely bossed. As you can see inside here, this is the clip here, or what used to be the clip. Um, now it's completely gone. And here is another clip, and as you can see here as well, that's also had it. Now, when I'm driving down the road with this, the problem is, is that the wind gets behind here and it pulls off and then it starts flapping about like this. And previously, this third clip here wasn't on properly. I managed to wedge that on enough so that it wouldn't come off, but it did come off in the past. And as you can see, if you follow it along here, the actual bumper there is actually cracked now as well. So I have to do something about that. You won't be able to see in the video, I don't think, but it's actually cracked all the paintwork as well. You can see it slightly, I think, here. It's cracked it all the way along because of the actual, uh, the forces from the wind. You'll be able to see the clips on this side as well. Look how damaged they are. Absolutely terrible. So I need to kind of get this bumper remounted really um like if i pull it up it fits better but it doesn't fit properly as you can see the whole thing is absolutely knackered and needs a replacement now but you can't get replacement bumpers for this because it's a rare car and they didn't make many of them now because this car is so rare i'm unable to get uh things like replacement bumpers and things so what I have to do is I have to repair it or get somebody else that knows what they're doing to repair it. And the problem is with that is the expense. That's why I've never done it. Um, and that's why I'm still waiting now to get it done. But there's quite a bit of damage on this rear bumper. I think it's worse than some of the others that are out there. Uh, I've even got some more um, scuffs on here. These marks here, these are apparently done by a golf bag from the pre previous owner as well. And he put some touch-up paint that doesn't go with this car, basically, instead of having it resprayed, and it needs to be resprayed. Basically, I'm going to have to fix the clips on the bumper. Then I'm going to have to get the whole bumper repainted again. The thing that I'm most worried about about getting the rear bumper painted is that it won't match the rest of the car once it's done. So I'll probably have to get the whole car machine polished. But that's another thing. If you watched episode one, um, when I was revving the car up, just to give you an exhaust note, you might be able to see this. Look how bad and rusty and welded this is. You can't even see further back because it's it's much, much worse. Um, I can't really get underneath it because the car is a bit low. So the exhaust, the whole system needs to be changed and this is a mild steel exhaust and it's not even the right exhaust for this car um, as you can see look it doesn't even uh, go flush with the with here it should be like out here and it's right back by like a few inches um, it should be out here flush which is where I want it so I'm going to get a stainless steel uh, exhaust system but it's going to be a duplex system so I'll have another one here so then I'll have uh, a nice you know dual system here so I need to get another one of these as well these are easy to come by and I can just cut the bumper out and put another one in here next thing which is a really cheap thing to fix is the badges now as you can see the badges are completely corroded what I actually did before um, was I put some paint in these and it made it look a bit better, but the whole badge needs to be removed and I need to put uh, brand new ones on. Uh, these, This one's alright. This has stayed uh, well, but like there are some, you might be able to see some scratches. These all need to be polished out as well. Badge. badge. 
this one's completely corroded uh, so it needs to be completely replaced you can just get stickers that just go in here but I want to get like a whole replacement badge and put that in instead because I think that would be a lot better the next thing is the lights um, as you can probably see they're really uh, tinged if that makes sense they need to be polished and apparently a really good uh, polish to use on headlights is mother's aluminium polish uh, and this should come up I think we've done this side once before this side's a lot um, brighter and shinier as you can see but this side is very murred here so uh, it's just the UV rays that have basically got to it and ruined it basically so I need to get a new well so basically I need to get uh, the mother's aluminium polish on it and just restore these to make them nice again next thing that doesn't work on this car is the fog lights one I think one of the fog lights, I think this one works, but this side doesn't work. Uh, I'll have to check. I think it's just a bulb, but uh, I want to get um, some, some brighter ones um, and put them in. I think they'd be a lot nicer than these uh, yellowy ones that are already in here. The next thing that's wrong with this car is the wheels. Now, the wheels, now if you can see, the wheels themselves are really curbed and that actually wasn't because of me because I'm really really careful when it comes to uh, parking next to curbs um, I'll bring you in closer look so you can see but um, the wheels have got a lot of uh, curb rash on here now something I did just really cheap before was just get some silver paint and just run my finger around it and that stayed on until like I jet washed it but they need to be repainted um, and just restored. They need to be sanded back and repainted. But I might just get some new uh, wheels completely in the end because, well, I'll just store these ones away. I, I mean, they're nice and everything. They go with the car. As you can probably see, look, they do go with the car. But it would be nice to have some bigger ones that are a bit more stanced you know that a bit more um, basically that they stick out and that they're flush with the wheel arches that would be nice front bumper doesn't line up the whole bumper needs to be lifted up now something that I've been told that we could fix this is to put these um, brackets on that actually pull the bumper together with the uh, with the fender here so then this won't sag like this because it's basically it's sagging it's never been hit here but it's sagging because of just the age I think so that's something else that I need to sort now we're inside the car you might be able to see all this mold on here look and it is absolutely horrible it's because the car was sat for so long you might be able to see it some of it's on the headliner as well um, because it's such a damp country here yeah, because it hasn't been heated up for so long in here, it's become a breeding ground for mould, basically. So, I need to get the mould out of this car, and I'm not sure how to do that yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Maybe a Vax or a steam cleaner would take care of it. Um, I think there's some mould and mildew remover that you can buy as well. Um, that's safe to put on fabrics and plastics so I'll probably get some of that and put that over on the inside other than that on the inside the interior is pretty much clean because I did have this whole car valeted before I stored it for four years so it wasn't used and everything was clean when it's you know when it was stored but there was a lot of damp because it was cleaned uh, and then left and that's evaporated and basically it's cause the mold so that's uh, a bit shit a bit of a shame is these vents here they don't work um, they broke they, they, they I mean they switch on and off which is fine but um, well this one seems to work this one works mostly it's a bit hard to see but it doesn't it doesn't actually change the blades fully but um, this one especially doesn't work this one works and the driver's one's actually missing a fin at the top you can probably see that 
I need to get them all replaced because um, I, I don't like it that they don't work. I, wa I want them all to work and to all be neat, so I'll have to find some replacement ones of them. Um, other things, um, it has a cassette player standard in here. It does have a 6 CD changer in the boot, uh, in the back of the car, in the trunk, if you're American. Um, however, this is non-amplified and it's not that it's not that good. The quality is not very good. So I want to change that. I've got some ideas of what I want to change it to. Um, and I'll be doing that in a, in a future video, I'll be putting a new system in. Um, all this works. This is the uh, climate control system um, for the hot, the cold, the fan speed, where you want the uh, air to blow, the rear heated screen, outside temperature, and the circulation. This works great. Um, I need to get the air conditioning regassed. Um, but other than that, that all works fine. Um, we've also got a uh, five speed manual gearbox. Now, mechanically, this feels horrible, and if anybody else was to drive this car, they would see what I'm talking about. Now, the reason why I think that this is a horrible gear uh, is a horrible gearbox is I think that the wrong clutch is in this car. Ever since I bought this car, it had a clutch in that when you press the pedal to the floor, you, uh, we probably can't see it in the camera, but when you press the pedal down, uh, it will not go into gear and it is very, very rough. So what I think it is, is the clutch itself and not the gearbox. I'm hoping it's not the gearbox itself. I'm hoping it is the clutch. The clutch is cheaper to replace. But apparently when you um, replace the clutch on these, you can't bleed the system again. So then it's hard to get the clutch back to where it should be. So it's something I need to research and look into for the future. Now, the next thing that I've got as an issue here, which you can't see because it needs to be dark, is the clocks. Now, the clocks all work, but the lights inside don't. So you've got the LED lights that go in here they don't work anymore on this bit, so you get all this lit up, so you can see all this bit. But you can't see the bit in the middle, which is kind of like for the speeds that we do over here. This is the bit that you need to see, so unless it's pitch black, you can't actually see what speed you're doing in the dark. But when it's just going dark, you can't see it, so that's something that needs to be sorted. Um, the car currently has 114,000 miles on it which is quite a lot of miles. Now, I've been told that this car has a BMW engine in it, um, which is good, I suppose, because um, it's a V6 engine. Now, because it's a V6 engine, the KV6 engine, to be precise, um, apparently these engines will last for a very long time. Now, it sounds great when I'm driving it, and it's, you know, it's a lot of fun to drive still, and I still rev the tits off it when I can. Um, I feel like in the future, and I'm talking in the, in the near future, it would probably benefit from an engine rebuild. So I'm not sure how much that's gonna cost. I haven't got a clue how to do it myself, so I'm gonna have to employ other people in to do that for me. Um, but I think it would benefit from having an engine rebuild, so then the power will be, the power and the torque will be back to where they should be. And also, um, the the engine should be smoother, and I should get better MPG as well. And I'll obviously know that it's, you know, a lot less likely to break down, for example. Now, here's another thing that is broken on this car. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it, but here we go. Now, I'm only able to open the door fully here, so you can't get a real sense of how bad this is, but the when I open this door, it makes that big clunk. Now, I think that the bracket inside the door is kaput, and it needs a new one completely. Something else that I'm not sure about, because the other doors don't do it as much. 
like if I open this back door, you can hear how quiet that is. Um, and this hinge seems to be okay. Now if I go around this side, I'll open this door. That one sounds a little bit worn out, but it's not too bad. And then finally the passenger's door. This one is dead smooth, does not make any noise. So the next thing is the interior itself, the seats. Now the seats are part leather and the rest is fabric. So this is all fabric, this is leather. And this bit's seen better days. As you can see, there's a rip in it here, um, which, well, I don't know whether it's really a rip, it's just kind of split on the bolster there. So there's a lot of wear on it here as well. All this was here before I got the car. I haven't done that many miles in this car really. Um, so I want this tied up or even just a replacement interior altogether. What would look nice is the, the red, because you can get a red insert, um, you can get the red insert leather for these um, and the middle is black as far as I remember it's a, a black um, a black fabric or I think you can get black leather as well now I could upgrade and get complete like racing seats or Recaro seats or something like that but I don't know about that yet either um, that's something else we'll look into as well now this is the back of the car the back seats are actually in really good condition um, other than this little mark here but um, they're in really good condition in the back this is well this line here is actually just from the uh, reflection but there is some like staining here that I need to remove I'm sure like a leather kit would take that out and that would sort it there's also some weird like dark marks here that um, you know didn't come out with vaccine so um, I think they're just heavy stains which I'm sure that they'll come out but I need to get the right equipment on them. I upgraded the rear audio system. It's a little bit hard to see but I removed the original um, shelf speakers and I put in these um, Slick 6C speakers in the back here, um, woofer cones. Now these are 270 watts um, which is pretty good. They're pretty powerful. It gives it a lot of bass, especially with uh, the current radio system that's in this car because the current radio system is, like I said, it's pretty poor, so this helps a lot. Um, when I upgrade and I get um, an amplifier and everything, these will be a lot better, a lot better. Now, I want to put some grills on here as well so it makes it nice and neat because I don't really like seeing this bit around here. It looks kind of naff. On the back of the seat, there's a tiny little chip here. There's, you know, if I replace the seats all together, this won't be a problem. But if I don't, then, well, it will be a problem because I don't think I can really cover that up. This side's got some, well, it's got a kind of a little gouge out of it there as well. So unless I can get these uh, inserts here and just replace the inserts, that would probably be uh, good as well. Little ash tray holder there you can see the interior a bit better here look uh, the steering wheel as well um, I want to replace that because the top especially there is really worn um, it's not worn through to the actual braiding but the perforated leather that's on it it's you know it's not real leather I don't think it's real leather uh, it's worn away so I want to get rid of that and just put on an aftermarket steering wheel I'm not so bothered about the airbag because the airbag, um, well, it would need replacing because the car's that old. It's supposed to replace airbags like every three years, I think. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, but um, the airbags have never been changed in here. So in the event of an accident, there's a, ch a chance that they wouldn't go off anyway. So uh, I want to just take the airbag out and just put uh, an aftermarket wheel on here. Now, some more of these badges as well. There's... Um, 
Uh, these these are quite corroded now and faded, so you can't. I don't know if you can really make it out there, but these are uh, these are easily replaceable. I might just remove these altogether. So uh, I don't know. That's something else I need to think about. I've got one on this side as well. This one's a little bit worse for wear than the other side, uh, but other than that, it's they're only little, as you can see. Um, this is the rear wheel. Um, I think these have all been swapped round front and back, so I'm not sure which way around any of these are. Um, but this could do with um, getting re-sanded and repainted as well. If I, like I say, if I don't just replace them, but I might just fix them up at least and store them uh, and get some um, upgraded tires as well because these are budget tires as you can see accelerate alpha they're not even a brand name that i know so um i would like to get some pirelli p0s on here so it's got some nice grip for the major thing that's wrong with this car and the thing that i'm probably most worried about and i need to get sorted before i do anything else to this car um, such as getting coilovers and things which you know, modifications to the car is one thing, but fixing it so that it runs correctly in the first place is the most important thing. So let's have a quick look. Now you're probably wondering why I've put the camera under the car. Actually, you've probably guessed it already. You probably guessed what this is, and you can probably see some fresh oil there that's highlighted in the sun, in the light. Um, this is just a cardboard drip tray that I've got here just to prevent it going through to the um, nice block work underneath um, but I've got an oil leak under here somewhere and I think that it's coming from the oil filter which is located just behind here but the problem is is that this this is the level of space look I'm touching the car and the ground and it's probably about five inches which is you know it's nothing and basically I can't get under there so I need to get hold of a jack um, I have some axle stands as well which I need to put you know put either side jack the thing up and I might be able to get underneath it and properly check it out failing that I'll probably take it down to the garage and I'll uh, have a look at it in the garage and get you know get somebody to sort it that way just to make sure because I need to stop the oil leak now see the fresh oil there um, it's just a drip but it, it builds up as you can see this is from probably about two or three weeks worth of oil here I mean it looks worse than it is because when it it soaks in it obviously it grows bigger um, so it's not too much oil but um, I've been checking the dipstick um, probably need to put a little bit more in um, but I definitely get this sorted ASAP. So guys, that wraps up everything that's wrong with my MG ZS. Now, if I've missed anything, uh, I will list it below the video, but I think I've covered pretty much everything as far as I can think of. Um, I will do a list of all the different features that are available on the car um, below the video. Um, the next video that will be coming is the things that I like about this car. Um, probably the video after will probably be uh, the things I dislike about this car because there's probably more things that I dislike about it than I like but the things that I do like are the things that make it worth keeping if you know what I mean so I'm definitely um, going to be uploading those soon now if there's anything that you want to know about the car anything that you want to ask me um, feel free to contact me on uh, on YouTube um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you'll come back and watch more of my videos. Uh, like I say, I'll be uploading more of them very soon, um, especially of this series for the car. Um, so if you're interested in my car or in cars in general, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and like I said before, leave a comment below, guys, and I'll see you again soon.